I'm here at Veterans Historical Plaza, which pays tribute to the city's active duty military personnel and the veteran community. And with Veterans Day fast approaching, let's go talk to city staff to talk about the upcoming Veterans Day ceremony. You're watching This Week in Santa Clarita. Joining us today is Kyle Lopez, Arts and Events Supervisor with the City of Santa Clarita. Kyle, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So what can you tell us about this year's Veterans Day ceremony? So we'll be held on Saturday, November 11th at 11 a.m. and we have a great lineup. It'll include performances from all branch theatricals and the national anthem sung by our Masters of Ceremony, Jan Daly. We'll also have speaking from our city council members as well as our veteran speaker, Richard Myers. And it'll be a great day for veterans and those friends and family of veterans. And what sort of community groups and organizations will be attending and performing at this year's event? So we have several veterans organizations who are on site handing out information about their organizations and their services, and including some of those that are part of the committee, like our Knights of Columbus, Vietnam Veterans of America, American Legion, they'll all be in attendance sharing information. And then we have Jean Daly, our Masters of Ceremonies, will be emceeing. And then the kind of the focus for this year's ceremony is the 70th anniversary of the end of the Korean War. So we'll have some nods to our Korean War veterans as well. And we're standing here at Veterans Historical Plaza. What can you tell us about the amenities at this beautiful park? Behind me actually is our Fallen Warriors Monument, which is a dedication to those Fallen Warriors from Santa Clarita. So if you haven't been here before, I encourage you to definitely check that out. We also have our story stations that highlight the different wars America has been a part of over the years. So that's a great walking area to explore. Also on site, we have some beautiful water features, obviously our flags, which are dedicated as well. So the city offers two programs for veterans. One is our Hometown Heroes Banner Program. The program is a great way to honor active duty military. And you probably see them throughout our Santa Clarita streets, flying before Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and also Fourth of July. And then we also have a commemorative brick program. We have several brick dedications here as well. So if you're looking to do something for a veteran in your life, um, I strongly recommend getting a dedicated brick. We have bricks that are installed twice a year, once before Memorial Day and once before Veterans Day. And we're actually here today and some of the honorees, I guess you could say, I'm here to see those bricks be installed today. For those who want to find out more about the Veterans Day ceremony, where can they go? They can visit SantaClaritaVeterans.com. Kyle, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So once again, to find out more about this year's Veterans Day ceremony, you can go to SantaClaritaVeterans.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, Santa Clarita.